guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you an eye makeup tutorial. Yay! Um, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long and I feel like they're what most people really want to see. Um, so one of my favorite eye looks to do, more in the fall but in the winter as well, is like a coppery eye look. I feel like it looks really good with all eyes, especially blue eyes. Um, so I'm going to quit rambling now and without further ado, let's get started. My first step is always to curl my eyelashes. This way I don't mess up my eyeliner or my eyeshadow. And I'm using the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. Then I prime my eyes with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. So when I prime my eyes, I kind of go back and forth between like a padding motion, then spreading, then padding, then spreading, and so forth until I feel like I have the desired amount on my eyelid. My eyelids always crease really easily, so you may not need to go in depth with your primer like I am here. Um, but yeah, it's I always use my fingers for the eyeshadow primer. I don't feel like you need a brush, but if you prefer a brush, that's okay as well. And I always make sure to get that primer on the uh, inner corner of my eye and underneath my eyes because I always smoke out my eyeshadow under there. And then I just come in with my Beauty Blender, one of the best makeup tools ever, and just kind of pat the primer into place making sure it's like a really nice, flat, even surface. Again, my eyelids just really crease easily. This is not a step you necessarily have to do. Now starting with eyeshadows, I come in with my first one which is the MAC Coppering Eyeshadow. Now taking my Urban Decay uh, Fluffy Tapered Crease Brush, I got this in the Smoky Eye Palette if you were wondering, I'm going to buff that color into the crease of my eye using windshield wiper like motions to make sure it's nice and blended. Coming in again with the Coppering shade in my MAC Palette. Okay, now I'm going to take that shade and pack it all over my lid much more intensely than I did so in the crease and I am using a MAC 239 flat shader brush for this effect. Any flat shader brush will work though and I just want to get that really intense effect so I'm really patting it into my eye instead of just swiping it. It's a pat and swipe type of motion. Now I normally don't use the same color for my crease and my lid but I'm going to be putting another color over top of my lid so that is why I'm doing it today. Now I'm using ColourPop Eyeshadow in the shade Game Face. ColourPop eyeshadows are a really interesting formula. They're kind of like part cream, part powder. And to get the really intense metallic effect that they give off, you really need to use your fingers. I've tried using synthetic brushes, well, synthetic brushes before, um, but I feel like the effect is much more pronounced and intense with your fingers. So I just pat that onto my eyelids and build it up until I get that desired metallic effect. These are like super shock eyeshadows and they're very inexpensive. Highly recommend. I love putting a background color underneath them though. And then I'm just buffing a little bit more of the coppering eyeshadow color back into my crease. And then I'm going to come in with the color brown script from my MAC palette. And then taking the other end of that Urban Decay crease brush, it's a more domed side this end, and a little bit more precise. It's similar to a pencil brush, but not quite as pointy. And I love to use that end for the outer corner of my eyes to get that nice, intense, dark effect with the brown script. And as you can see, I'm also dragging it into the edges of my crease as well, just to add a little bit more uh, depth and definition to the overall look and kind of smoke it out. And now just coming back with that fluffy brush, I'm just really blending that brown script into the outer edge and the edge of the crease. Now I'm coming in with a color by Paula Dorf. It's a white color, but it has like this golden flex tint type thing to it, so it works well with the coppery colors. And I am using a MAC pencil brush to just kind of really get an intense highlighted effect on my brow bone and I also am going to bring that color into the inner corners of my eyes. Using a lighter color in the inner corner helps make your eyes look bigger and also makes you look more awake. So now I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner Pen in a dark brown color. I'm going to uh, wing out my eyeliner and I always use my lower lash line to kind of guide me on how to make the wing and I always like to make the wing first because I feel like that's the trickiest part. So I just did it on my 
one eye first and then I'm just kind of sizing it up so I know how to get an angle that matches and again taking my lower lash line as a guide I'm just kind of extending that out so that I get a nice angle for my wings and then I'm just thickening them until I get the desired effect and now I'm just lining the rest of my lash line I never go all the way into the inner corner because that makes your eyes look smaller so I go right up to like the edge of where my lashes end now still using the Stila liquid eyeliner I am tight lining that upper lid by wiggling the pen in between the lashes on my inner waterline. This is key to ensuring you don't have that weird looking gap between your eyelid and your eyelashes. And now I'm just using the pen to color in the base of my eyelashes. My eyelashes are really light so I need to do this or it looks weird. When I go to apply my mascara if you don't have blonde eyelashes this is a step you can totally skip but if you do this is a really great trick to use now I used an eyelash primer by Dior but my camera of course died so you did not get to see me apply that and then I came in with a Lancome mascara I think it's called hypnotic I'm absolutely obsessed with this mascara it makes your lashes look like falsies and something you may notice in this video is that I use both my left and my right hand to apply mascara. Um, this is so I can get all the inner corners and edges really well. Um, a lot of people think that's weird. I guess I'm just able to use both hands. So it works really well and it helps me get each and every individual eyelash. And then I'm going to come in with this Coal Eyeliner Pencil from Buxom. It is a brown shade with a hint of gold glitter. And I'm going to line my lower water line and I only line about two-thirds of that lower water line once again not going all the way into the inner corner because that'll make my eye look way too small then I'm coming in with the it cosmetics eyelash primer this is normally used to prime your lashes but as you can see the brush is really thin so I love using it for my lower lash line then I'm going to use the Polydorf White Gold Color again and the MAC Pencil Brush and just add that to my lower waterline on the inner corner. And then I'm going to use a combination of coppering and brown scripts and take the pencil brush and drag that along my lower lash line all the way up to where I ended with the White Gold Color. And now I'm just taking a little bit of makeup remover on a Q-tip and cleaning up all my fallout and my edges so it looks very precise and neat. And this is the finished effect. As you can see, the copper color really makes your eyes stand out and pop. Okay, so that was the tutorial. This is kind of the completed full effect look with the uh, skin makeup added on. And I always do my eyebrows last so you did not see that in the tutorial in the tutorial um, but I don't like to do them before my foundation because I feel like then they get messed up so yeah this is the complete look I use some Barry Clinique lipstick because I feel like it goes really well with the copper and that is it uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you haven't already thank you for taking the time to watch this video I love you guys bye